Good morning students. In previous video, we learned about biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. And today, in this video, we will learn about vermi composting. So, let us start. Vermi composting. Let us understand what is vermi composting. Vermi composting is the process of conversion of biodegradable waste into compost with the help of red worms. Vermi composting process involves decomposition of biodegradable waste by red worms. So, students, in short, we can say that the method of preparing compost with the help of red worms is called vermi composting. As this type of composting is done by red worms, so we create the environment which is suitable for red worms for their survival. Let us discuss the process of vermi composting step by step. Students, first of all, we dig a pit of about 30 cm deep or we take a wooden box at a place which is neither too hot nor too cold to make a comfortable home for our red worms in the pit or the box. Then we spread a net or chicken mesh at the bottom of the pit or the box. We can also spread one or two centimeter thick layer of sand as an alternative. Now we spread some vegetable wastes including peels of fruits over this layer of sand. We can also use green leaves, pieces of dried stalks of plants, husk or pieces of newspaper or cardboard to spread over the layer of sand. However, shiny or plastic coated paper should not be used for this purpose. Dried animal dung could also be used as I spread over sand or wire mesh. Then we sprinkle some water to make this layer wet. We also take care that excess of water is not used. The layer of waste should not be pressed. We keep this layer loose so that it has sufficient air and moisture. Now our pit is ready to welcome the red worms. Then we buy some red worms and put them in our pit. Then we cover them loosely with a gunny bag or an old sheet of cloth or a layer of grass. Students, red worms need food. We can give them vegetable and fruit wastes, coffee and tea remains and weeds from the fields or garden. It might be a good idea to bury this food about 2 to 3 cm inside the pit. We do not use wastes that may contain salt, pickles, oil, meat and milk preparations as food for red worms. If we put these things in the pit, 
disease causing small organisms start growing in the pit students once in a few days we gently mix and move the top layers of pit students red worms do not have teeth they have a structure called gizzard which helps them in grinding their food powdered egg shells or sea shells could be mixed with the wastes this would help red worms in grinding their food students a red worm can eat food equal to its own weight in a day red worms do not survive in very hot or very cold surroundings they also need moisture around them if we take good care of red worms in a month's time their number will double then we observe the contents of the pit carefully after 3 to 4 weeks now when we see loose soil like material in the pit then our vermi compost is ready then we put some wastes as food in one corner of the pit most of the worms will shift towards this part of the pit vacating the other part then we remove the compost from the vacated part and dry it in the sun for a few hours our vermi compost is ready for use students the part left in the pit has most of the worms in it we can use these for preparing more compost or share them with another user we can use this excellent vermi compost in our pots gardens or fields in this way we can save a lot of money that is spent on buying expensive chemical fertilizers and manure from the market let us revise what we have learned today by solving some questions question number 1 organism that is used for vermi composting is option a snake option b red worm option c both of these option d none of these and the correct answer is option b red worm question number 2 to make a comfortable home for red worms option a dig a pit about 30 cm deep dig a pit about 30 cm deep at a place which is very hot option c dig a pit about 30 cm deep at a place which is very cold option d dig a pit about 30 cm deep at a place which is neither too hot nor too cold and the correct answer is option d dig a pit about 30 cm deep at a place which is neither too hot nor too cold question number 3 the red worms option a have teeth to grind their food option b do not have teeth to grind their food option c need not grind their food option d none of these and the correct answer is option b do not have teeth to grind their food practice makes perfect students these are some homework questions that you need to solve at your home i hope that you will answer these questions correctly thank you